La Nina is here. After officially being classified in mid-September, the cold waters of the tropical Pacific Ocean have continued to intensify and become more widespread. This increases the odds that the La Nina will be a notable driver of the U.S. weather patterns this winter. And again, in general sense, um, the stronger the event becomes, the more persistent the patterns are likely to set up. If this event does continue to strengthen and become a stronger event, we're likely to see those patterns really lock in. One of these patterns threatens to deliver disappointment, a dry winter for areas already in the grip of a devastating drought. In fact, the hot and dry conditions from the summer and fall have already cost the western and central U.S. a billion dollars in damage. The most severe drought is in, in the southwest where the monsoon season never really got going. As a result, the Four Corners region was driven to one of its driest summers on record, and La Nina is not good news there for the months ahead. Troubles also loom for other drought-stricken areas. The U.S. is experiencing its most widespread drought since September of 2013, a stat that could get worse. During a La Nina, the Pacific jet stream gets pushed far to the north. This generally confines an active storm track from the Pacific Northwest to the Great Lakes. South of this storm track, precipitation is often hard to come by. Drought is expected to intensify and expand throughout the plains and the southeast. We're actually expecting the drought to be the, the big news story um, of this winter. For more on what you can expect this winter, check out weathernationtv.com. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Ben Redford.